What's up, everybody? Trip it ain't easy. Back with another video. We're here in our state's capital, Richmond. Get ready to go grab some brunch. Uh, we're here for the wife's birthday weekend. We're gonna head to a place called Liberty Public House. Uh, we did some Google check-in, and this place is supposed to be really good. And then after that, I think we might go ahead and hit uh, Stone Brewery, which opened here uh, a few years ago, and go grab some beer, see what they got. But yeah, should be a fun day. Come join us. All right, so now we are here in Richmond. Well, I guess, not sure what area this is, but lots of little old rustic buildings and such. But right around this corner is Liberty Public House. It's like it's in an old theater or something. So hopefully it'll be good. But all right, we'll meet you inside. Hey, what's up? We're here, we got seated. Um, nice little place here. Uh, exposed beams and uh, HVAC, things like that. So this is their menu here. It is on a little scan thing. We'll, uh, we'll link them down below, of course, like we always do. But they've got uh, a little selection here, cocktails, beer, wine, snacks, and starters, uh, some loaded fries, pretzel sticks, things like that. Um, they supposed to have brunch all day when we call before. Yep, brunch all day, every day. They got scrambles, grits, chicken and waffles. Uh, bagels, all kind of stuff. So I'm gonna pass the menu on to the little lady so she can take a look at it. I think I'm pretty much know what I'm gonna get because I always get chicken and waffles. So um, she's probably gonna get the biscuits and gravy because I see it right there. But all right, let's see what we get. You may now touch your menu. Can I get y'all something to drink? Uh, can I just get a regular mimosa, please? Absolutely. Are you? Do you have any like? I'm gonna probably pretty bougie. Do you have any like espresso martinis or anything like that? I do not have any espresso martinis at the moment. I do have the uh, Belle Isle cold brew that we do a, a really fun kind of espresso we drink with. Okay, what about boozy milkshakes? Do you do those at all? Okay, it's cool. I'll, I'll take that. Okay, great. And Remember. unsweet. And unsweet. And can I get a coffee as well, please? I'm sorry, unsweet? Unsweet, that thing you said. An unsweet iced tea? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just wondering if you wanted an unsweet espresso. I was oh, like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take all the chicken out. I don't okay. want it. Yeah. Uh, can I get a uh, regular coffee as well? A regular coffee? Would you like cream and sugar? Yes, please. All right. Ooh, this looks nice and fancy. <laughs> wow. What's this called again? That's a midnight latte. A niblet? Midnight. Oh, midnight. Midnight, midnight. latte. Midnight latte. Yeah. Ooh, this looks kind of nice. This cute little... Some mimosa. Is this a mimosa? Is this a blood orange? I think this is a blood orange. No, that is. Yeah. It's a nice little like tumbler glass there. Or... Thank you, ma'am. Absolutely. Can you show any waffles to start or anything? Uh, waffles? Waffles to start. I've never heard that before. That's, Absolutely. That's... <laughs> we do many waffles. They're about two inches tall. I, th I think I'm probably going to end up getting the chicken and waffles anyway. Okay, so, perfect. yeah, yeah, yeah. Give but, you uh, a few minutes then? Yeah. All right. uh, what, excuse me. I'm sorry. What, what was in this again? It's the uh, Belle Isle Cold Through Moonshine with a little bit of butter schnapps and oat milk. Okay, cool. You yeah. like it? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's very okay. good. Very good. Like it. Howdy. Y'all have any questions on the menu? you ready? Sure. Uh, can we try the, the fried pickles, the frickles? Yeah, of course. And then... Uh, all right, with um, the sriracha oli and ranch on the side with it. Yeah. That works. Um, and then I'm going to have the chicken and waffles. And then for you? Uh, can I get the Liberty Benedict? And then what side would you like with that? Uh, hash browns is fine. Can I get the egg coach char? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, do you guys want ranch Thank without you. as well, or just the sriracha? Uh, yeah, we'll take yeah, probably some ranch. Thank you. That's a lot of fun. All right, we got the frickles, baby. Here we go. Check that out here. Little fried pickles. They look pretty good too. They look uh, fried, nice and crispy. We got some sriracha aioli and with some ranch. All right, chill. This looks like some uh, possibly yeah, made in-house ranch. Yeah, there's some sriracha aioli there. And the frickles, these things look pretty good. Let's see, uh, see, some, see if we can get some ASMR. I don't know if that turned out or not. But... These 
these are uh, yeah, these are good. The breading's not like flaking off of them like you see on some some frickles. Some good spices and seasonings, and it is quite quite the portion. Right. You can like see that it's quite the portion there. So you could probably come here, sit at the bar, have a beer, and just eat these. I think they're good to go. I've been saying sriracha aioli for this the entire time, and now she's saying it's spicy. And it's really red too. It's not like your normal spicy mayo color where it's like lightly red. It, there's a lot of sriracha in there. But then again, salt is spicy to her. So. Anything else at the moment? Shit. Uh, Another person, maybe? I know, right? I mean, I promise this it's well worth it. This is like fucking ridiculous. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to TT for Sure, that. sure. Like, this, well. uh, yes, yeah, right like, this dwarfs that. So, look at this. Look at look at this fucking money. And this is $11. So not only is this probably the cheapest chicken and waffles I've seen that we've been to, if you look at some of our older videos, Thank you. Look at some of our older videos. This is the cheapest chicken waffle I've seen, but this is the fucking biggest chicken waffle I've ever seen. This is ridiculous. Normally you would only get like one of these. Uh, this is crazy. Hopefully it's really good too. Alright. And this is the wife's, uh, this is the Liberty Benedict. Huh? With a hash brown right there. And uh, this has uh, Virginia ham. So it's going to be a little salty, just to let you know, probably. Um, yeah, and your basic English muffin, and it looks like some cayenne pepper on top. So that looks like that's going to be good. But she's going to take some pics for Instagram, and then we're going to dig in. And if you want to check out our Instagram, some of our travels and photos around, uh, link in the bottom below. Go ahead and check that out. And uh, let us know below what your favorite breakfast food is. Mine is uh, chicken and waffles, of course. And she flip flops between Benedict and biscuits and gravy. So let us know down below. Chicken. Got steam coming off there. So the breading looks pretty good. Looks like this place has their breading down packed. Very nice, very nice. Check out the waffle. That is a good ass waffle. I will have to say, that is a that is a top-notch waffle. Like, dead ass. So I will have to say, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna have to give this chicken and waffles. How is this $11? I don't, I know, isn't it so much food? Like, every breakfast place we go to, you know, I always get chicken and waffles. It's never been this cheap, this much, and this good. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Yes, yes. Yeah, if you want to check it out, we're going to have it on YouTube as well. So, later. Uh, Trippin' Ain't Easy. T-R-I-P-P-I-N-A-I-T, yep, yep, all one word. Yep, yep. We'll post it, like, I'll try and get it posted on our own. Well, we'll usually we'll we'll actually tag you guys. We'll do it on Instagram, and we'll we'll tag you. If y'all are on Facebook, we'll tag you Facebook every time we post it, so you guys should be able to see it. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you. So, 
I'm gonna dead ass have to give this a 9.2, like straight up. This is, yeah, this is some good ass chicken and waffle. Portion size, portion size for like the price, I'm gonna have to give it a 10. Cause this is like, look at like look at just this one alone. This is just the one. And here's the other. I mean, most of the time you get like a couple little chicken strips, something like that, and they, they just was like, take the whole fucking chicken, bro. Like, have the whole chicken. What's she doing? What's she doing? They were just like, have the whole chicken, man. You deserve it. No. How many people's birthdays did this weekend? That's like three so far that I've that means a lot of folks was banging uh, Valentine's Day. A lot of Valentine's babies. But um, so this place all together, I would definitely, I would definitely recommend it. That drink, that was pretty good. The fried pickles were awesome. Chicken and waffles are obviously awesome. How's your eggs been today? And yeah, the hash brown. She's not really a big fan of hash browns, or at least not potatoes in the morning. But it's like she's eating that pretty good. And the, uh, yeah, I definitely come to this place, Liberty Public House. It is in the Churchill area of Richmond. Link down below. But we're probably going to finish this up. And then we'll guys see you at, uh, at Stone. Or somewhere else you might end up. But stay tuned. All right, we just came out of uh, the Liberty Public House. And we were gonna go head to Stone, but we're gonna take the suggestion of one of the waitresses in there, Alexa. Um, we're gonna go head to Triple Crossing. She said to make sure it's the Fulton location, because apparently that's the nicest one. So it's not very far, it's less than two miles. So we're gonna head there right now, check it out, have a beer, and then uh, might go to Stone after that one. But yeah, we'll meet you there. All right, here we are at Triple Crossing, the Fulton location. You can see up here, we're up on like a nice little hill here. And, uh, there it is right there. So the waitress uh, heavily recommended the place. So hopefully it's good. Got a little view inside of the uh, brewery there. Fermenters and such. Nice location right up here near a little industrial area. Stone is actually right down the street, maybe about a half mile. So we're definitely gonna check that out after here. But let's see what kind of beers they got up in this place. Definitely smell the smell of pizza. Apparently they do pizza here as well, but we already ate, so we probably won't be doing that. It's like they're having a little bit of an event here. Let's go check this out. I, I didn't either. So I think they have like a little bar right here. It looks like I saw we're walking in. So let's go check out that one. See if that has like different uh, different food. They're doing tarot card readings as well. You want to get your tarot read? All right, let's see what we got here. Woods. Very, uh, very, you can tell by the head too, like it's gonna be a very, it's a very thick, thick stout because that head is brown. 
His head is black as the Elizabeth River in Portsmouth. It is. <laughs> and then uh, yours, how oh, was yours, that first step? It's actually not bad. Yeah. It's like a watery porter. Well, it's a dark lager, so. I know. Pinky's up. I like that. Let me taste it. That's um, it's very good. Oh yeah, little kid passed out, taking him as a nap. I'm not surprised they just sell it in that, that size. Is, um, it's like really thick. Look at the single coating glass. Yeah, very very thick syrupy. It's good though. It's very good. Not not too boozy. At least on that first sip. Normally the you know the high ABV stuff like that you'll get like very boozy taste, but uh, no, that's actually really good. I can. I could probably crush a whole bottle of this easily, maybe in a six pack. And you would be crushed. I would be. I would be. I would be devastated. I think that's 12 percent. Yes, but yeah, that's what it says, twelve percent. So she's up there in the uh, in the ABVs. Very very good though. Like some it tastes like some coffee and some some caramel mail. All kind of sophisticated beer snob words. And then the wife is enjoying her dark thing but to you Alexa if you happen to be watching thanks for the, uh, the recommendation this is really good and I think we're gonna go ahead and finish these beers up and then we're gonna head down back down the road and we're gonna go to Stone Brewery see what they got on uh, on the menu there and then we're probably gonna end up calling it a day after that one so we'll meet you right down there all right, we have made it. We are here at Stone Brewery here in fabulous Richmond. Uh, this place opened up a few years ago or so. Uh, there was a bit of like a, a bidding war kind of thing going on to where they were looking for a, uh, I guess an East Coast brewery location. Uh, there was one back about two hours back where we're from. Uh, they were thinking about doing one there. Uh, here, and then I believe, I can't remember where, but it was like up somewhere around uh, Illinois, something like that. They were planning on building one, but they ended up choosing here, Richmond, and it's a pretty nice location. Uh, there it is right there. Nature. Lots of lots of natural nature. There's a little footbridge over there. I believe there's another parking lot over there. Got some of their uh, little fermenters out here, out back. But it is a pretty nice location. It's literally Maybe like a mile away from the uh, triple crossing we just came from. So not very far at all. If you want to do like a little brewery hop, you might even be able to walk. It looks like they got a uh, some food trucks as well. But we already ate, so we ain't about that life right now. But we're going to hop in here and see what kind of beers they got on tap. So meet you inside. I'm about to put my eyes up to this because I thought it was like a like a lookout kind of thing. But I mean, if you look at it, it does kind of like a little looky lure, not like a bike rack. It's a, no, it's a bike, a bike repair station. Is it a Durofix? Interesting. But yeah, I was definitely getting ready to throw my eyes up to it and try to look. Yeah, there's a little footbridge here. You go across there and over. There's another parking lot right over there. We got some uh, corn hole out here. Maybe a little private little she's still laughing at the fact that I was about to stick my eyes up to the to the thing. I didn't actually do it and I could have just kept my mouth shut. But that's what you get, you know, for being honest. <laughs> Would you like to go in, my lady? Here we have the giant stone throne. Yes. Stone throne. Ooh. Here's the inside. Lots of uh, lots of goodies here in our shop. T-shirts, hats, bottles. Look, we even have a bottle opener speaker. Now I've never seen nor heard of this before, but that is 
that's kind of cool, I gotta admit. So, yeah, that's actually kind of neat. Um, I guess the wife wants to show you this shirt. She was holding it, she was in the background holding it up for quite a while. Uh, what else do they have? Little pins. They got, uh, oh yeah, if you're, so Stone is like kind of big into food. They have in their Escondido location, they have a, um, they've got a restaurant. They had to play the music right when we walked in, didn't they? Uh, they have a restaurant and now they have barbecue sauces. So I'm not really sure how much of this video is going to make it through because they just put the music on. So copyright, all that good stuff. So we might just show you some highlights, walk outside and then, you know, call it a day. All their growlers here, nice growlers and glassware. But uh, yeah, let's go check out some beers now. today uh, if you would please subscribe like leave a comment down below your favorite brewery in your area and uh, as always tripping ain't easy the show is fun <laughs>